Need that brand new player that just came out and don't have the coins to afford them? Make sure you check out Buy Muck Coins, the best place to buy and sell Madden coins, and always use code SAVAGE for 15% off. Yo, guys, what's going on? It's Savage here, and welcome back to another episode of everybody's favorite. It is Road to Red Paint, and guys, we're coming into this episode hot. We're coming in off of a second quarter rage quit. We are stacking our Road to Red Paint points right now. If you missed last episode, a brief synopsis of pretty much what I explained is that we didn't spend any upgrade points in the last episode, and we're not spending any upgrade points at the start of this one. But at the beginning of next episode, I want to hopefully have a fair amount of Road to Red Paint points after the game we play, and we can make a huge upgrade or a bunch of little upgrades to make a bunch of different players a little bit better which at the end of the day will make the whole team a big bit better and that will be great and that is what we want because we started this head-to-head -head season off 0-2 we're now 1-2 this game has a lot on the line we win this game we're 2-2 two two, we're 500 we need five more wins we lose this game we have to win six games in a row because if we lose this game and then lose any any more games we get demoted so we have to keep winning we need to keep winning we have to re-spark the win streak and that is exactly what i'm here to do today guys smack a big fat thumbs up on the button if you are enjoying road to red paint as much as i am because this team bro is about to be lethal if i can win in today's episode if i can win in this game that we are about to hop into i know for a fact we will have enough road to red paint points to make a big upgrade or just like i said some little ones and you guys you guys are all the gms i'm just the person who plays with the squad and you guys tell me who to get you guys know my requests that's all i can do is request players or, or request upgrades for that matter whether i want it like ability cam like conductor or whether i want a faster user or whether i want to switch up the scheme and we need new players for that scheme it's up to you guys to honor whatever my requests are, but at the end of the day, you can ignore my request and you guys can suggest whatever the hell you want. So with all that being said, fellas, we are about to hop into this next game, man. We're one and two. Hopefully we can make this one quick, easy, and get a dub again, man. That is what I want to see. Let's, let's get it, man. Let's freaking do it. Oh my goodness, dude. Well, this guy's team is very good. Very, 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 very good. Gonna be, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm, I'm a little nervous, man. I'm a little nervous because this is the type of team that gets good animations and normally can can beat us off some fluke. All right, our opponent is actually in 4-3 wide 9 right here. So this is going to be hell. This is going to be tough for us, man. I have a feeling that it, it could be a very, oh my God. Yep, and it's pass interference and we're not even getting a call. Hard and short right here. Definitely want to pick up this first down. And we do. We got Christian McCaffrey. Oh man, Christian McCaffrey. Oh man, my stick is crazy. Got a lot going for us right now. Cannot complain about that one bit. Let's see if we could, uh, you know, kind of get glitchy right here. We're going to send Marcus Valdez Scantling on a drag from right to left to kind of act as like a makeshift screen. Oh, why throw it to anybody on that side of the field when we got Tyreek wide open instead? We might have to go ahead and actually block Christian McCaffrey. We're only going to have four routes on the field, so it's going to come down to if the guy that I want to be open gets open. We got two reads on this play that I like. Two reads. One of them got open. Wow, man, I did not think that Dion could react to that that late. Dion played amazing on that play where Tyreek got cracked and somehow came down with it. It was like he had a sixth sense. He literally was playing the fade, and as soon, as soon as the ball released, he jumped backwards. It was crazy, but what a great run there by Christian McCaffrey on the draw. And we are going up seven right now against a really good team. So defensively, we got to play on our toes because he's got players that have 99 speed. Homie actually started off with a delay of game, so I went ahead and put the pass rush on aggressive to make this a very stressful potential play for him. Yep, it's just not. It's just never going to be a stressful play when you have Calvin Johnson out there. But that is something I really do want to actually talk about, kind of, is our defense. Our defense is very, 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 very susceptible to getting urine on by a lot of these higher end overall players, teams. You guys know the deal. It's that point in the year where now it is just these cards are juiced and our team is the complete opposite of juiced so with that being said i really want to switch to big nickel over g mainly because then we could run a scheme with so much more speed out on the field and you know that is something that we need because my user is a gold josh jones out of position card 
he does not have the speed to be user defending Calvin, Tyreek, Randy, everybody. You know what I mean, guys. We need to probably veer in some upgrades to make us be able to convert to big nickel over G so we can run some safeties at linebacker. Gotta make a play right now. Second and 19. Just do a slow. Oh, no, 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 no. That's going to be open. Josh Jones, let's go. Come on, dude. I got back there at the left. I saw that so late, dude. Oh my god, I can't believe I made a play. I can't believe, even though I reacted like probably one second too late, I was actually able to beat out the throw and make the user play right there. That is huge. Right here, we are going to just touch pass it to Tyreek, and Tyreek is on his horse. Tyreek, 84 yards, man. Let's go, dude. Let's go, man. Let's go. Got a lot to be happy about right now. We are beating a very, very, very high overall team. 14-0 in the second quarter. It seems like we got everything kind of under control. I think we're a turnover away from really, really making a big statement right now. Oh, 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 he's getting away from... Yep, he's just getting sacked for eight yards, so that's the best animation in Madden. Animation just made this guy's third down the easiest thing in the entire world to pick up, as you guys can see. That sucks, man, because I honestly think that if he did not get out, not get that break right there, he probably wouldn't have picked up the first down. But right there, now we are in a we are in trouble because he is just killing us in the seams. Third and four. I mean, if we could hold the door. If he just takes three right here, that is a massive W for our defense, bro. That is a, this is a W. Got more than enough time to get that three that we just gave up back on our scoreboard. So let's see what he decides to do right here. We got Calvin Johnson right there. Never a freaking mind. Second and 10 right here. Let's see what, oh man, this guy is just leaving the corners wide open. The corners are wide open. Tyreek getting a little shifty on the sideline. First and 10 right here. Let's see what he does. Okay. Third and 19, we have got to do something. Oh my God, dude. Alan Page is just, oh my goodness. Alan Page is a force. All right, guys, it sucks that we were unable to capitalize at the end of the first half and get those three points back, but it's okay because we're up 11 right now. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of comfortable. I mean, I am feeling kind of comfortable. As long as the clock's moving, we're technically closer and closer and closer to winning. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're just going to try to keep this clock moving, whether I have the ball or whether he has the ball. Let's see what he decides to do right here. Looks like he's going for this post. No, 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 no. Khalil Mack, second too late on getting that sack. Third and nine right here. We are on a pass rush aggressive still. So that is going to play a factor in how fast this guy has to get the ball out. If we can get a nice pass rush let's see what he's doing right here jabril peppers jesus christmas tree oh my god he's dropped a pick dude well he's electing to go for it on fourth and nine i don't blame him because after dropping that pick it's looking like the fluke is about to start kicking in which is not good for the savage squad it is not good for the savage squad man this is not good i need to get the ball and i need to chew that clock now one big play is all it takes folks one big play come on come on I'm ready. I'm ready for the routes. I'm ready for the routes. I'm ready for that post. I'm ready for that post. I'm ready for that post, man. Josh Jones, once again, he tried that play earlier, and you saw us lurk it in the beginning. We lurk it again, and that right there puts us in a commanding position. Oh, my. I just, I just Golden State Warrior. I just go, I just Golden State Warrior. I just put this guy right back in the game. I just put this guy right back in the game, man. I threw that hitch about 10 seconds too late, and that's just on me, bro. That is just me playing like an idiot trying to rush the ball out of my hand when I have routes developing deeper down the field that could put us in a way better situation. Now this guy is in striking distance, dude, and that is just something that is not good, and our team just can never seem to sack any QB for some reason, and I just don't understand why. All right, guys, third and two. Can we plug up the run if he does run it? Yes, we can! Denzel Ward making a one-on-one -on -one tackle. And it's going to bring up fourth and one. Is he going to elect to go for it is the question. One yard. One yard with his God squad is not hard to obtain. If he goes for it and we stonewall him, we're running the ball. We are not doing anything dumb. He is electing to go for it. This is the biggest play of the game. No questions asked right here. We are making quite a few adjustments to potentially... Lock this game away, maybe? That's a pick for 
and read that's the game bro well fellas we came out on top with a nice 14 to 3 w as i said guys these last two episodes were some of the most important ones because we were able to stockpile a bunch of road to red pain points so now in the beginning of the next episode we're gonna have lots of upgrades to make i hope you guys did enjoy if you did smack a big fat thumbs up on the button and as always fellas have a wonderful rest of your night